hello my people welcome welcome back to the news channel and this is afri's concept tv where you get the latest and the oldest news this is a news channel that keeps you updated on everything going on in the country if you are yet to subscribe to this channel make sure to do that now and if you are a new subscriber we say welcome to afri's concept tv sit back and relax because you are going to be getting everything that you are going to need to be updated on the happenings in the country and even outside the country and also if you are a returning subscriber i say welcome back to afri's concept tv and i'm sure you are you keep coming back because you get value from this channel let's go right to the headlines for today court directed tinubu to government and nabdikano to negotiate seek reconciliation IPOB leaders, lawyer, clarifies. And my people, yes, so this is the news for today. As we see that the court has directed Tinubu government and Namdikano to negotiate and seek reconciliation. Let's listen to the news info. Ejimako said the court gave the directive on Wednesday when Kano's case came up. Barrister Law Ejimako, special counsel, for the leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, IPOB, Namdi Kano, has clarified that it was the Federal High Court in Abuja that directed the Nigerian government and the IPOB leader to pursue reconciliation. Ejimako said the court gave the directive on Wednesday when Kano's case came up. The lawyer said some media reports that Kano sought negotiation with the Nigerian government on the charges leveled against him were well, slanted, according to him. It was the court that invoked its powers under Section 17 of the Federal High Court Act and issued the directive. Ejimako said today, invoking its powers under Section 17 of the Federal High Court, Justice Binta Mortala Nyako directed the Attorney General of the Federation and Mazinam Dikano to explore the prospect of reconciliation or political solution in the ongoing trial of Nam Dikano. Section 17 of the Federal High Court Act provides that in any proceedings in the court, the court may promote reconciliation among the parties thereto and encourage and facilitate the amicable settlement thereof. Responded the private prosecutor representing the federal government, Ademo Yega Awumolo San, told the court that he has no objection to political settlement or solution of, to the case of the case, but Kano's lawyer should discuss it directly with the Attorney General. In the same vein, Kano's lead counsel, Aloy Jimako, expressed no, expressed no objection to political settlement. Kano had filed an application before the court seeking to move from 49 and a second application, which objected to the court's jurisdiction to try him. Kano is facing trial on terrorism charges leveled against by former President Muhammad Buhari. administration over his call and agitation for a sovereign state of Biafra. The case has continued under President Bola Tinubu's administration. The case was adjourned to September 24 for further hearing. And yes, that's the news for today. As we've seen that um, Eji Marco, who happens to be the lead counsel of um, Nnamdi Kano's team, has come out to say that he's willing to has come out to say that the court has told them to go and seek political solution or reconciliation and the attorney general the person representing the federal government Ademo Yiga I will I will said that he doesn't have an issue with it but that Nambi Kanu's lawyer should discuss it directly with the attorney general and yes my people that is the news for today make sure to like the video comment let us know what you think about this news let us know your your mind regarding this news that you've just listened to because we are very interested in your feedback and also don't forget to subscribe to this channel and also click on the notification bell so that youtube will notify you every time that we post up a new content look forward to seeing you again thank you